Yo guys, what is up? It is Ryan Sneaks and it is that time again. Uh, we are going to be running through the Spring Summer 2015 pre <laughs> 2017 preview. I'm going to do this all in one cut, so if I mess up, uh, you guys know what it is. It's going to be a pretty long video like the lowest, the last one. Uh, I'm just going to go through every single page, kind of check out what's up. Uh, I've already seen a few things. I already got the scoop on it this morning. Uh, I know this video is going to be a day late, but I did have work all day, so... Uh, didn't really have time to be doing all that stuff, but I just got off work. It's about 10 o'clock right now. Oh, it's actually about 11 o'clock. My bad, I'm way off. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and roll through it. So let's start off with the 2017 spring summer. Let's just uh, view all. Let's see what that looks like. So we'll start off here. Uh, there are a few things that have already caught my eye. I'm not going to lie. There's this, this season seems to be pretty good so far. So we get a faux fur bomber jacket. Uh, this is pretty dope, honestly. I kind of like how it's, uh, you're mixing, like, streetwear with, like, high-end pretty much with that. I like the way Supreme goes all the way along that. I do have, like, uh, it's that Polar Tech Varsity. Uh, it's, like, a fleece material, and it has it across like that, but not, it's smaller letters. It doesn't go onto the arms, but I think that one's pretty dope. So this I really do like. I like the red one better than the black. The white on the black looks a little bit weird to me. Uh, I think if they were to go with just black on black, it would have been better. Uh, but there's that one. So we'll go back. Uh, what else we got here? We got this. I I don't know. A lot of people were hyping that up. And I know Supreme was putting a lot of stuff out on that one. But I'm not really feeling that too much, to be honest with you guys. Um, a lot of people were saying, like, it's like Travis Scott or whatever. Nah, it's really not. I don't, I, not in my book. Uh, Travis Scott, of course, with rodeo stuff. Uh, man, I'm trying to open this bottle right now, but it's not popping up for me. But uh, I don't know. I don't really mess with this. This isn't my style at all. It's not my taste. Uh, if it's up with you, then that's cool. Uh, but not really feeling that at all. I'm going to have to take a break. That little bottle is not opening up for me. So, yeah, that's the f back and front. I don't know. I just I don't like it. I don't like it personally. Uh, but if it's your style, then that's pretty cool. Uh, right here, we get a Supreme Truth Tour jacket. Finally, that opened. Uh, it's like, what, denim? Cotton jacket with uh, satin lining. So, wow. Um, the back's pretty cool. I like the embroidery. I'm starting to really like embroidery stuff. Like, on the back, I'm really starting to like that kind of stuff. But it's getting overplayed now. Like, before, I liked it when it wasn't too much. And now, uh, if you go to the mall, Paxson has, like, a bunch of uh, embroidered denim and all that kind of stuff. But I feel like that's still pretty cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? I don't know what's going on with that. But, yeah, that was that. Uh, what is this? Denim. Studded denim jacket. I like denim jackets. I don't own one personally. That's pretty cool. They have the same patch they put on the jeans. I don't own one personally, uh, but I do like them, and I would like to get one soon. Uh, but it's already getting hot here, so there's no point in me getting it yet. This kind of looks like the all-over 3M that they did last year. Uh, kind of like it. Uh, looking at my backpack, it's not all uh, like crazy. It's just kind of straight, but that's pretty cool. Uh, they have it in a few different colors. That one's pretty nice, the teal. I'm not going to be picking that up, though. That's that's not me. Uh, we get some racing jackets, which... Uh, what is it? It's a collab. This is probably going to be expensive since it is leather. Um, I guess if you're really into that, it's pretty cool. That's kind of like the Dallas Stars. Not Dallas Stars. Dallas Cowboys. I was thinking of both of them. It's like the Cowboys logo right there. Uh, and white. Black. They got a few colors in that. That's pretty cool that they're doing something like that. It's I like when Supreme does things uh, that's a little bit different. Like they, I don't like when they just kind of do the same things over and over. Uh, I think they did what is it? Uh, they did a racing jacket like maybe three, four years ago. That was pretty cool. Uh, this one right here, the Sabata quilted work jacket. That's all right. I'm not really into quilted work stuff like that. Uh, what is this? Another quilted bomber. This one's all right. It has like a floral print going over it a few different colors Ooh, that burgundy one is nice i actually kind of like that burgundy color uh what is this oh okay so this is a leather work jacket i believe you pronounce that brand as shoot uh but they're very very expensive i remember last year or maybe the year before they did uh that black one that came with the fly pin and it was in the thousands so that's pretty expensive but pretty nice at the same time i do like that i like the silver one <sighs> trail jacket this looks like uh 
and I don't even know the brand. It kind of looks just like a vintage like track jacket. That's pretty nice. I like the first one. First one's definitely nice. Depending on the time, I mean, for me right now, uh, being I just got out of college, just graduated. I'm still trying to find a job. Uh, I'm more, I'm still working. It's not like I don't have a job or anything, but I mean. If I'm going to get a job, then I'd be getting more stuff. But right now, I'm still trying to budget and trying to find something to set up for myself. Uh, so I know I'll, I'll say I like a lot of these things. Like, this right here is nice. I would say, like, I'd buy it. But at the same time, uh, I'm still trying to budget and stuff. So if something was something good was to happen, like me get a job, then I'd be doing more videos for you guys. I'd be getting more stuff. This is pretty cool, the Obama Anorak. Uh, I personally wouldn't wear it because I don't like wearing people's faces and stuff like that. Um, but I mean, it is pretty cool, I guess, if you're really into Obama. That's nice. They get pants, too. That's kind of crazy. And one, I mean, I'm not really one to get into politics, especially here on YouTube and stuff, but they're really, it looks like they're going against Trump on this stuff, especially in one shirt. I'll show it later. This is nice, reflective. Half zip, that's very, very nice, actually. Uh, what colors? I didn't have the colors yet. That putty, that clay color is pretty nice. Uh, brown. And black, of course. But yeah, it seems like uh, they were doing a lot of campaigning against Trump and stuff. So, I know one of the shirts, like I said, I'll get to that one later. But uh, it kind of they're not too afraid to express their views. And it doesn't look like it's driving away any business. So, that's good for them. I mean, not that they're against anything. But uh, it's good that they're open to kind of, I guess, talk to everyone. And let everyone know their views. Uh, Field Parka. I would have really liked this if it didn't have the 666 on it. Like, I know a lot of people are cool with that or whatever. Like, they're not afraid to wear that. And I'm not afraid to wear it. It's just, I would have much rather had it just plain. Especially in that duck camo. That would have been fire. If anything, if I am able to pick... Oh, this one's actually not bad either. This would probably be the alternative to that. I was going to say you could take off that patch. Maybe put another Supreme patch on there. These are actually very nice. Uh, the field pant. I may pick those up. Those are nice. But yeah. So, we were on what? Damn, I lost my spot. Okay, yeah, here we are. So, yeah, here we go. It has, like, a zebra print inside. Um, the only thing with bombers for me is they're, they're kind of getting outplayed a little bit. And Killian has, like, oh, that's actually pretty cool. But uh, the brand Killian, which I've done a video before, uh, they make really good bombers, and they're pretty affordable. They're, like, $70 a pop, and I have about three or four of them already. So I'm kind of set on that. And uh, especially when you pay for one... And uh, with Supreme, you'd be paying for you'd be paying for one, and with Killing, you get like three or four. So uh, what else? What else? We're here. Um, I don't know. I mean, I like the colors. It kind of reminds me of the sh the jackets my grandpa would wear, uh, but I don't like that collar too much. Uh, this is actually pretty nice. A two tone hooded work jacket. I like that pink. I'm starting to get more into like pastel colors and stuff. I really do like that. But I mean, for spring, summer, when this is dropping here in Texas, uh, there has been some jackets that I do like. like I think they dropped the LeBain uh, like a few spring, summers ago, like maybe three or four, and I really did like that jacket. But at the same time, it's about 100-something degrees outside, and you're like, am I really going to wear it? And for me, I never really think ahead, like, okay, well, I'd wear it in the fall or something like that. And... Uh, I don't know. Like, I tell myself, like, if I like it, get it. But at the same time, I'm I'm kind of like, I don't know. Kind of hard to explain, but, like, you go outside and you see, like, oh, man, it's so hot, I'm not going to wear it. And then later on, when it gets cold, you're like, oh, man, I should have got it. But whatever. Uh, What else they got? They got some. I'm really into the tees. I'm really excited to get into the t-shirts because that stuff is what I'm really about. Uh, I did want, I do still want to get a Supreme chain, like the gold chains they got. That camo one is actually pretty nice right here. Uh, but this year it's like a heart, and I don't know, not really, not really wanting a heart necklace. But uh, they do have some pretty cool stuff. Uh, what is this? Like this is heart stuff, and I mean it's okay, I guess. Like if it's like a jacket, but if I'm gonna be wearing an everyday item like a necklace, uh, I'd want something better than that. Like I like the gold bar, and I wish they would do something like that, but they don't really ever retro anything or redo stuff, so. The price on that went up, and I'm just not going to pay that amount. But Ugh. Shop jackets. It's kind of plain. What else? We got a silk hooded jacket. Okay. 
What else? What else? That yellow one is that? Oh, actually, that's my favorite right there. Out of those. I don't think I'll be getting them, though. Not really. Because especially with the price, it looks like something you can find, like, at a thrift store. Which I understand some people uh, like that style and whatnot, but for the branding on it, it's not. I'm not willing to pay that much over for it. But these purple pants are pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. Like, a lot of these pants, like, I never really pay attention to pants with Supreme. I'm more into the tops from them and, like, outerwear. Uh, but some of their pants are fire, I'm not going to lie. And it's hard to find them later. This is actually really nice. Like, uh, those floral pants, I was looking for them for a while, and I could not find my size. Uh, couldn't find them pretty much, period. Uh, but those are something that were, that was, like, a couple years ago. Uh, flew kind of under the radar. And then this, this the past year, they used the patchwork ones, but... I don't know, I like the floral ones. The patchwork was a little bit too much going on for me, so I didn't get those. That peach one right here is really nice. I wonder if they're going to be doing a lot of peach, because I know when uh, winter they did a whole bunch. They did the peach box logo, peach hats. Everything was pretty much peach. They had a colorway of that for everything. Uh, we get some. We get a look at some champion gear. That vest is actually pretty nice. Uh, what else they got? That was it for that. But yeah, I'm really excited for this this uh, season. A lot of the stuff they're doing is pretty nice. I really like the backpack from this season. I probably should have waited and just waited for this one. I like this one a lot more. I'll get another 666 denim trucker jackets. Uh, but you can never have too many backpacks, I guess. If I need to, I can sell my other one. Um, but I definitely want to get the black one from this season. This one is really nice. We'll get to that one later, though. It's down... Uh, towards accessories and hats and this is just a denim shirt pretty plain nothing too much with it supreme new york on the back it's actually not bad i mean it's pretty it's something subtle you can pretty much wear that all the time hooded shirt uh that kind of looks like just like a bunch of rugs on a shirt uh zapata again some flannels the oxford shirts i always say i'm gonna get an oxford shirt every year and I end up not doing it. One year I will. That peach one's nice, but I'm pretty sure that will sell. Uh, the blue one's nice. Purple one I'm not really a fan of. And then the white ones are okay. Uh, it's more plaid. So what else we got? They're doing kind of a lot of outerwear for spring, summer. Um, shoot, where were we? Okay, here we go. Now we already looked at that. What the heck? I'm all I'm all lost on here. All right, here we go. Pills nylon shirt. That's it. Kind of looks like confetti, honestly. A little bit too much. A kung fu shirt. So it's like a kimono. Uh, hearts polo shirt. That white one is actually not bad. Like I said, like I know I just said I didn't like all the heart stuff, but that was actually not bad. Silk polo. That probably feel pretty nice in that burgundy or peach colorway. Um, I don't know if this is collab with someone. Dream Rayon. I guess that might be an artist. That's pretty dope. I really do like when they do a bunch of collabs with artists. Uh, it's cool to see, like, artwork on a shirt. And then Obama shirt. Okay. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Embroidered band collar. That's not bad. And then you get another cowboy shirt. Like I said, I'm not really into it all. Um... I'm sure it's going to sell out because people are going to think it's going to be hyped. It really just depends on what we want to pay for that, honestly. I'm interested to see how that goes. Uh, Terry shirt. Not bad. Work shirt. I like the work shirts from a few seasons ago. They were like blue, yellow, and brown, I think. I like that blue one. Some more just regular shirts. Oh, uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Stripe shirt. That one's not bad. That's pretty cool. It's just pretty plain and then you get it on the back this one's actually pretty cool too i'm not really into wearing all the playboy stuff and my girlfriend always like whenever i think i'm gonna get a playboy shirt or something like that my girlfriend just like tells me what time it is i guess you could say she's like you ain't no playboy but uh there we go light oxford shirt just like some pretty plain stuff for spring summer right there that stuff's not too bad i really do like that kind of stuff uh, so we went through all that what uh, sweaters bone sweater like, like, they did a shirt like this, I think it was last season. And, uh, 
I think I said, like, it reminded me of, like, of shirts I wore, like, in the third or fourth grade. And this is kind of the same thing, but it's it's not bad. Uh, striped polo sweater. I remember buying that mo mohair cardigan, like, two, three years ago. And I got, uh, I upsized from what I usually wore at that time, and it still fit me tight. I don't know if that's the deal with all, uh, sweaters, or if it was just the mohair or whatever. Uh, but that thing was itchy. Man, it was itchy. And I sold it for, like, under retail, I think, and now they go for, like, $400, which is crazy. So, I kind of, oh, this is actually nice. I like this one a lot. It's kind of confusing with me, I guess, because I do like uh, when Supreme does minimal branding like that. But then at the same time, if it's like 200 bucks, I'm like, oh, why am I going to pay for that? It has no branding, which is kind of stupid. I know, like, I kind of contradict myself on that. But I like the plain look, but then again, I want some branding on it somewhere. And I mean, some people, like my girlfriend's like, oh, all you care about is the brand name. But my thing is, like, if I'm going to pay extra for the brand, uh, I, would, I mean, I would like for it to say it on there somewhere. If that makes sense, I don't know. Uh, sleeve striped sweater. This is actually pretty cool. If they have it in purple, that'd be dope. Oh, they don't. Yeah, that one's pretty dope. Uh, well, let's see. We're here now. Painted flowers long sleeve. This is ugly, man. Oh, that is ugly. But you know what? I could see someone like, uh, Travis Scott or Ian Connor wearing this. And then, uh, everybody wanting it. So, I'm gonna bite my tongue on it. I'm not gonna want it, that's for sure, but... Uh, yeah, I was gonna say this one is probably the best color if you could say it's the best color But it's definitely a pass for me. This one is really nice uh, Depending on when this drops if there's sneakers and stuff um, Definitely want to pick this one up. This is very nice Really like that one a lot depending on what colors uh, I like the black one the most to be honest black or purple um, That orange one's nice it's like an arctic orange uh, white all the colors are nice, but I think uh, my favorite would be purple and then black. Or black, I'm kind of out of tie. Those are nice, though. This is pretty cool. has a reflective patch on it. Um, full stripe, this is nice, but eh. Pink one's probably the best out of that. Oh, at first I thought that was a Nike swoosh, and I was like, what? But, nah, it's just a hooded long sleeve. Uh, what else are we getting on there? Some hooded long sleeves. Okay. Uh, super. What is it? Super hardcore. Oh, okay. I couldn't really read that off the sweater. I had to look at the title for it. Uh, acid wash. I do like uh, the acid wash and like the overdried look, but it has to be like on a thick sweater. Um, not really like on shirts and stuff like that. Department long sleeve tee. And these are pretty. Just this is pretty plain. I'd rather be dead. Uh, the Gon it's the Gons logo. It doesn't say anything. It's just a ringer tee, but that's the Gons logo. Um, that okay. These are nice. I really, really like these, especially like that white one. If I can get my hands on the white one, I definitely will. Uh, I don't really li like this right here. The old English. I kind of went over that really quick, and that was just because I didn't care for it. I don't really like the old English stuff that they do. And uh, there's another thing that I'll be popping up soon where they kind of rip my friend's brand. These are nice. I like that pink one, which is strange. It's very strange because I've never seen that done anywhere else. If y'all have seen it anywhere, y'all can let me know, but I'll show you in a second. Uh, like I said, I do like some of these designs, but with Supreme, now that I'm getting older and like social media and uh, it, like you kind of have to present yourself like the way your job wants you to. It gets a little bit different like that. Some of you guys, like, work for your own stuff, which is dope. That's really dope. I, I look up to that kind of stuff, and y'all can wear whatever you want. But, like, for me, I can't wear this stuff to, like, work or anything like that. So it makes it a little difficult to buy that, even though I do like the designs on stuff. Uh, the college, it's a collegiate, but it's a college logo. Those are pretty dope. That pink one's nice. Red one. They're all, these are actually all nice. I do like these a lot. Uh, war hooded long sleeve. Not really feeling. I'm not really into that logo. The rib logo long sleeve. They did something like this a few years ago. Uh, but it was like a higher higher uh, neck collar. That was pretty cool. Not really feeling these again. This is kind of funky. Um, definitely imagine like wearing that with uh, your checkerboard vans or something like that. Okay, so we finally hit the end of that one. Which was right there. Pop in here. 
Weave knit zip up polo. Uh, knit sh raglan top. All right. Let's see. Let's see. This is pretty cool. A Terry crew neck. I like that color. Yeah, I definitely like that color. This is a pretty nice piece. Uh, not really into that. That's kind of like an old person shirt. Uh, what is this? Terry Crewneck just has a logo all over it. That peach one's pretty nice. Sleeves are, I don't know. I mean, I think peach looks good on everything, to be honest. Um, Tonal Stripe logo crewneck. Just has a stripe on the chest. That's, I mean, these are just kind of plain now. Like the design kind of got lazy on a few of these things. They kind of look the same. Bar stripe. Uh, these are pretty nice. I think I've, I thought we went over this already. We might be going through some recycled stuff that we saw already. Like this, I'm pretty sure we saw all that. That polo was nice. That pink and green one. That was really dope. Uh, Supreme New York micro stripe t-shirt. Uh, stripe collar Terry Polo. I mean, this season, I think I think this season overall, I've already seen a lot of this stuff. Uh, some of it is new that I haven't seen because I've been at work all day. Uh, but I have gone through Instagram and seen like some people's posts and stuff. And a lot of the stuff is pretty nice. I think from what I've seen, uh, this season definitely is better than last one. Last one was pretty weak in my opinion. I know a lot of people liked it. Uh, but for me, it was just kind of weak. I just wasn't feeling a lot of the stuff. Uh, so right here we got a satin baseball jersey. That's pretty cool. Uh, the freaky hockey jersey. I thought this was pretty funny. Freaky. I sent that to my girlfriend. And I was like, oh, well, she get it for you. And she got all pissed off, but whatever. Uh, curved basketball jersey. This just looks like a retro jersey. Uh, half zip baseball top. Nothing. This one I like. This one I like a lot. When I played baseball... Uh, we always had decent uniforms, but they were always just button-downs. And one team had a jersey like this, but it was gray and red. It was like maroon and gray. So it was a gray background and maroon writings. Uh, and I thought that was like the dopest jersey I've ever worn. And something like this kind of reminds me of that. I don't know what AD stands for, though, so I don't know. But that white one is definitely my favorite out of that. USAF, I'm not too sure what that is. Um, but it has a bunch of pandas on it, so that's kind of cool. Uh, Supreme Playboy stuff again. Half zip rugby. I got like, oh, okay. So, uh, I think it was like two seasons ago. They did that rugby long sleeve with the big Supreme logo in the middle. And I was like really, really into it. And I copped it. I was so excited and I got it in and there was like a slash on my bag, like with the box cutter, someone did it and it like cut through the shirt, which was, oh my God. It just felt like the, my heart was ripped out. Cause I really, really wanted that. And resale was kind of high on it. Uh, but then I ended up selling it for like 50 bucks over retail. I don't know why the guy wanted it so bad. Vampirella, the guy wanted it so bad and bought it. And I was like, all right, man, it's up to you. Uh, pinstripe baseball jersey. And I haven't heard from that guy again. I guess he kept it. I don't know. Uh, so we got a lot of baseball jerseys this, this season. Curve logo tee. Uh, this is kind of plain, honestly. Not really feeling that. Some tank tops. I don't really wear tank tops at all. Uh, so I'm definitely not picking any of those up. Let's see where we left off. I think we went through... Damn. I don't know where we left off. Let's go through the pants. I don't think... Oh, let's go through the hoodies, actually. We haven't gone through all the hoodies yet. So this is just the overdried. I like the sweaters that they do that are overdried. The hoodies are nice, too, but I'm pretty lacking on my sweater game. I have a lot of hoodies, though. A Supreme Champion, that's nice. I really do like that one. Uh, that gray one, definitely on my hit list now that I see this one. The gray, just like a classic champion hoodie that says Supreme on it. That'd be pretty dope. Uh, sweatpants. Uh, sweatpants are hit and miss with me. Like, I like sweatpants, but at the same time, I don't want to overdo it with sweatpants because then I'll be that guy. Vaparella again. Uh, let's see, let's see. Sorry for all the noise in the back. My cats are like fighting with each other and stuff. Get some different colors in the Vampirella. This one's pretty nice. It's Chanel Arc Logo uh, hood, hooded sweatshirt. Why would I say Chanel? I don't know what that is. I don't know why I would say that. 
So you get it in white. The I don't know, are they all multicolored? I think just the white's multicolored. That was my favorite anyway. But I'm kind of weary on white outerwear and just pretty much white stuff in general just because I feel like I'd stain it. Uh, man, I was about to say this one is super dope, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, the bag is a 666 all big. And I don't know. I don't really like that, so I won't be getting that. Uh, field hooded sweatshirt. Can't really tell what the artwork is on it, but it kind of looks like a Starry Night kind of rendition of something. All right, so, okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um... Okay, just some normal stuff. What is that? Sick mother, sick child hooded sweatshirt. I don't know if that's a play on something. I don't know. Uh, sequence. Pretty dope. Playboys. A lot of Playboy stuff this year. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit up the pants right now. Uh, Barack Obama. This isn't really going, like, it kind of cuts you off. Let's see if we start with these. we already seen those. Oh, uh, man. We've seen a lot of these already, I think. I think we already went through this, to be honest. We went through most of the pants. I kind of want to check out some stuff, though, still. Uh. Okay, yeah, so these are the split pants. I thought these were pretty cool at first. Uh, but at the same time, it's a little funky. Like, those pink and tan ones. They're pretty cool. Uh, cargo pants, normal cargo pants. Uh, work pants, kind of reminds me of Beetlejuice in that color. All right, stop working. I don't know what's going up. Oh, okay, it just kicked me out. All right, so let's see. Of course, you get your just uh, the slim jeans that they always carry. Uh, stone wash slim jeans, washed regular jeans. Damn, they got some crazy patterns on these. Multicolor classic logo sweatpants. Oh, that's pretty cool. The classic logo and it's multicolor. If I was to pick anything up, I did probably be those sweatpants, not the champion ones. These are pretty nice. Uh, warm up pants. Uh, that's kind of crazy. There's a lot of stuff all over that. Uh, not really my type of thing. These, I've never, uh, like, they've done those coveralls before. Uh, that's not my thing at all. But for some that it is, we can kind of take a look at it. Checkerboard, uh, maroon, teal, navy blue. Yeah, we've seen that already. It's like the carpet pants. All right, so let's hop into the shorts. Cargo shorts. Kind of look like dad shorts, to be honest. Um, corduroy. Okay. Not really feeling a lot. These look pretty short, too, to be honest. Uh, denim logo. Not really feeling a lot of these shorts. Work shorts are always nice from them. Uh, but I don't really... I Like, if I wear shorts, it's going to be athletic shorts. Or, like, tech fleece or something like that. Uh, not really into denim stuff like that. Terry shorts. These are... These look kind of weird. I bet you they're comfortable, though. I wouldn't personally wear them though. Uh, water shorts, these are like swimming trunks. I always said I was going to get some swimming trunks. Like me and my girlfriend usually go to Rockport, which is here in uh, Texas. It's like on the coast. We usually go there in the summer. And I always say like I'm going to get some for Rockport. I never do. Those cheetah ones are pretty, pretty out there. Uh, some basketball shorts. Some oh these aren't water shorts so they're well they're water shorts but not trunks they're basketball shorts and that is it so now we get to finally look at the t-shirts get the safety which is a uh, kind of like I guess their portrait tee this is what I was talking about where like they're kind of showing their voice against the president which I said is. It's kind of like a double-headed thing. Like, it's good for them to express how they feel. But at the same time, uh, a lot of people feel different about it. Like, me, I'm trying not to get into it at all. Um, but, I mean, I don't see it affecting their business at all, though. So, I know some people were saying, like, they wanted to see a collaboration with, like, Trump and Supreme. But little do they know Supreme hates Trump. 
Uh, abstract tea. This is actually pretty nice. Uh, dreams tea. Uh, a lot of stuff going on with this one. This one is probably my favorite tea that they're dropping. The elephant tea. I think it's just so crazy and cool. Honestly. And, oh, I guess they don't show the colors. Well, I mean, they're usually like a ton of colors. But this color right here with this tea is my favorite. Definitely my favorite. External tea is just kind of plain. Uh, automatic. It's just like an automatic gun. All right. Uh, Larry Clark girl tea. So it's just a naked chick. That's always cool. This one I like a lot too. The Joe Roberts swirl. Um, and this color away as well I really do like. So... I'm already hitting up my guy Bobby about all this stuff, letting him know like what I want. Uh, hopefully, he'll be running a bunch of slots and we'll have extras so I can get you guys in on that as well. But definitely, if you have a plug, let them know already uh, what you're going to be aiming for right there. And another one, like I really did like this one. And then it says that on the back and it's kind of just like, well, it kind of goes that. Now we get into the hats, which they got. Quite a few. Oh, I don't know. Should we do accessories? No, it's just going order. Accessories are dope this year. So, let's see. We get an iridescent camp cap. Pretty cool. Uh, Jackard one. Satin. That's in a... Hopefully, it doesn't rain when you're wearing that. Metallic. Uh, suede camp. The striped tee. Got quite a few different ones here. None of these are really catching my eye, though. Uh, that one's not bad. I don't really wear camp caps at all, though. They don't fit my head right. Well, I mean, some of them do. Some of the deeper ones fit my head a little bit better. Uh, but I don't like that shallow feeling on top. I used to, like, have a bunch, and then I go... I don't know. I'm kind of very picky with what I wear now. I go back and forth. Reflective stuff. Perforated. That new logo. It's in denim, though. Uh, I always thought these were pretty cool. It has like that visor on it that's clear. Leather camp cap. Because they did those a few years ago. Which is pretty cool. Corduroy. Twill. Kind of got a few different things going on here. Uh, water pattern. That's it for camp caps. Uh, let's see. Where do we start now? I guess here. Now here's what I was talking about. I guess we passed up. There was a hoodie I thought. is No, it was a hat. Uh, my friend Chris from Houston, he has his brand Catacombs Houston, and they did this font going down on a jacket, and that was a pretty dope jacket, and uh, today he tweeted this out, and he was like, well, what is this? Because I've never ever seen this done before, and he had it on his stuff, and Supreme has this, they have a few accessories with it, and I don't know, that's like a pretty big bite, but I mean, at this, I don't know, I guess it's like flattering at some level, but... They're straight up ripping your stuff. It's kind of weird. These are nice. I like the I like the purple one and the red one, not the black. But yeah. If that was me, I would have been a little bit mad. But uh, he was he was alright about it, I guess. He was kind of upset, but at the same time, it's kind of a compliment. Uh, Annihilation. That's cool. Warp. Pretty plain on this stuff. Not too bad. That I don't like at all. This one's a little weird. I don't know what that's about. Script. USAF stuff again. I guess it's army uh, or military related, honest, uh, honestly, because jungle expert. Because I've had some stuff before from Supreme that's are like military related. So I'm guessing that's what that's about. Uh, strawberry hat. It's not too bad. They're doing a lot more S logo. I remember when the S logo first started popping up on the hats. And man, those are like freaking going crazy. Everybody was wanting them, and now they just make you like five, five different S logo hats a year or a season. This is ugly. The pill, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess the pill box hats are your thing, but I never really liked them. Uh, Playboy fitted, box logo, new era. In my experience, I don't know if it goes for all. My girlfriend got me the Gore Tex fitted, and it fit like a size big. She got me the size I wore, and it was pretty big. So now that we're done with hats, uh, let's go ahead and hop into the backpacks. And this is the backpack I really like. I'm not into the pink one. My girlfriend's really into it, and I think she's trying to get that one. 
She's in nursing school right now, so she's carrying a big backpack with her already. So that's pretty cool. This one is my favorite, the black one. I definitely want to be getting this one. Uh, probably my favorite backpack to drop in a very long time. Duffel bag's dope as well. Uh, what else we got? Waste bags, like a fanny pack. I don't ever use that. Uh, just a little, what is that? Shoulder bag. Another fanny pack type of deal, but it's leather, so that's going to be pricey. Uh, I don't know about Vanson leather or anything, but I can expect it to be pretty high quality, so it's going to run you up some, uh, but it's pretty nice. Wrist bag. Uh, all the colors. A nylon bag. And that was it for the bags. Backpacks are dope, and the ba and the duffels. Now here's where it gets exciting. This is what everybody wants to see. Uh, they did a freaking mini bike. That is ridiculous. I I don't even want to guess at uh at the price on this, but I'm gonna take a guess and say that uh it's gonna be in store only. I don't think they can ship that, or if they do, it's gonna be a lot on shipping. Uh, but that is super dope. Like, if I had the opportunity to buy that, I would, just so I could have a Supreme mini bike. And I'll put, like, a basket in the back and put my cats in there. Or I'll just put my girlfriend back there. A stool. That's pretty cool. Uh, the stool on the table that goes along. Uh, these I like. I have the Gold Studio Wireless Beats. Uh, but if I was able to pick one of these up, I would definitely sell those. These are pretty nice. Uh, cash cannon money gun. I've never seen any of these before, but uh, I guess you take them to, like a strip club. I don't, I don't, I don't know. A uh, metro card, which is pretty cool, has two fares included. Honestly, like I don't even live in New York, but uh, I'd probably buy one of those just to be kind of something cool to have. A gold heart and arrow pendant. I don't know. I guarantee you, whenever it gets closer to time, I'll end up wanting it. We'll see. Uh, just some glasses here. It has a very, very faint logo right there. Nothing too crazy, though. Uh, some work gloves. A puzzle. I thought they were going to do something a lot better with the puzzle, honestly. I thought it would be like an old school Supreme design. Or maybe like a big box logo or something cool. It's a really, really faded on there. I don't know, I also heard a rumor that they're doing, like, different images on different puzzles, so I don't know. A uh, flask right there. Those belts, I'm, I don't know. I'm not into those belts at all, but, I mean, if you are, that's cool. This is pretty cool. Uh, these are really old school, man. Like, I remember when I was, like, five and my cousin had one of these be uh, beaded doors. It would be pretty cool. Like, I guess you have an apartment or something, just kind of put it, like, going to the kitchen. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, ashtray or ceramic tray they call it measuring tape with level uh, the Morphe power station plus mini we actually have these at my work and for what supreme charge for that space station a while back and all that other stuff it's kind of ridiculous beach towel with the 666 uh, it's just a beach towel again the hand towel which is pretty cool they ripped my buddy's design again with the bandana. Uh, another storage box. Those are pretty. Those are always pretty nice. And they have it in a small and large. Uh, what is this? It's like a woman's body. Origins. Okay, yeah. I've actually gone to the museum where they have an origin statue. Molded rubber with removable ball. I guess you can take that out of there. It has like a baby in there. Uh, key knife. I might actually need to get this because, uh, I have the utility key from a couple seasons ago and it's already all messed up. Uh, telepen keychain. I'm not telescoping stainless steel pen. Oh, it's a pen. Oh, that's pretty cool. I have the, the, I guess it, I forgot the brand. It was like Qualco or something like that. They did the pen a while back, like, I want to say maybe three years ago when I picked it up. I still use it. It's just, it's kind of small. Uh, we got some incense. Uh, okay, that's a little weird. Just a magnet. There you go. They're they're doing that logo again with the keychain. A freaky pin. A flower pin. FTP button. 
And then of course you get your skate gear right here, which is the trucks, um, your wheels, and then the decks. The decks are kind of lacking this year in my opinion. I'm sure they'll do some artist collab with it though. But yo, that is it. We just ran through the whole thing in about 40 minutes. This is going to be a hard one to upload. It's going to take forever. Uh, but yeah, so let me know your thoughts on this whole thing. Uh, if you stuck through this whole video, congrats on that, man. Uh, but yeah, I think this season's pretty fire, to be honest. I'm going to be definitely trying to pick up those two shirts and backpack on the first drop. And uh, kind of take it easy from there. But like I said, there are a few sweaters on here that I really am interested in getting. And, I mean, I don't know about resale standpoint. I know the two t-shirts and the backpack, I would pay resale. But any of the jackets and stuff like that, I'm probably not if I can't get them for retail. But we'll see how it all goes. Uh, let me know what you guys think again, like I said before. Just let me know what you guys think on all of it. Uh, what y'all must cops will be if you think the mini bike will be just in-store only. Uh, just all that kind of stuff. So that is it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I know it was very, very long. Uh, but just wanted to kind of do this like I did last year. I know a lot of you guys like that video. And uh, kind of just go over with you guys. Nothing like too serious. Just kind of going over, talking, just uh, shooting it with you guys. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. And I will catch you guys next time.